So my name is Sarah Halstead, and I'm a mom of two adult kids. Um, I'm a laughter lover, <laughs> and I love to share smiles with people. Um, for most of my adult life, I've worked in nonprofit management, and that has allowed me to be able to do a lot of things from my heart, to be able to do uh, work for causes I really believe in. Um, and whether it's because many of those jobs were part-time or because the nonprofit world doesn't always pay so well, I often found myself struggling as a mom to be able to uh, bring the income into my family that I wanted to be able to do. So I dabbled in a number of different uh, home-based businesses over the years, things I thought would be interesting and fun and, and bring in some extra income and actually ended up probably spending more money on products with those businesses than I actually brought in income. <laughs> so kind of like a lot of people who I know that get involved in that kind of thing. Well, I learned about some things that don't work and uh, and I've, I've really learned a lot of things uh, along the way about business, about life. Um, and recently I found myself uh, connected with a couple of other mentors who are helping me to learn lots. And this would be Robert Hollis and Bill Ebert. And I have just been learning and learning and I love it. But I'm also still a person who likes to share. So I wanted to share a very quick little story with you. Um, this won't be a long periscope, but I just wanted to give you a real short story um, about something that I learned from them and over the years, and it's really a good one to remember. So here it goes. The story is about a farmer who had a dog, and he was sitting out on his front porch with this dog and kind of enjoying a nice day in the afternoon, and, and his dog beside him was howling and, and making all kinds of noise and just howling and howling in pain. And another one of the neighbors came by and, you know, couldn't help but notice that this dog was making all this noise and it sounded like it was in distress. And so he asked the farmer, he's like, well, what, what in the world is wrong with your dog? And the farmer kind of laughed and, and he said, oh, well, he's sitting on a nail. And the neighbor looked at him and said, what? Why? Well, why doesn't he just move? You know, if he's sitting on a nail, why doesn't he move? And the farmer explained, well, I guess it just doesn't bother him enough. The first time I heard that story, I was really impressed. And it's it's stayed with me a long time. I've I've shared it with a lot of people. A lot of folks are like that dog sitting on a nail. I'm sure you know. I'm sure you've come across some people like that. Maybe people that like to complain. Every time you see them, they're complaining about one thing or another. Or maybe they're complaining about the same thing over and over again. About how their life isn't giving them what they want. Or they're just not getting the results they want. Or there's this excuse or this problem. And they just seem to be filled with these howling stories of of why things are so awful. But... Things don't seem to change for them. Well, like that dog sitting on a nail, they've got to decide that they really want to change, that this is not comfortable for me, that this is not uh, healthy for me, that I don't like the pain that I'm feeling in my life right now. And eventually, some people get off that nail and don't sit on it any longer. So if you know people like that and uh, and you're kind of wondering, well, why don't they change? Why don't they do something to make their life better? Maybe it just doesn't bother them enough yet. And when you find yourself in that situation where you're kind of complaining and grumbling and wishing things were different, maybe you're still sitting on a nail. <laughs> maybe you have to decide that I don't want life to be like this anymore. I don't want to be in pain. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be what, whatever that is. Fill in the blank. It doesn't have to be that way. I'm learning so much from my mentors and enjoying it. And I just wanted to be able to share this quick little story with you tonight. And I appreciate all of you for jumping on. I'm glad to be friends with you. I'm, I'm glad to follow you. If you follow me, I'll, I'll follow you back on, on uh, Periscope and also on uh, Twitter. I do have a Facebook page that's called Insights to a Better Life. So feel free to look me up on Facebook as well. But uh, I just love to share these little bits of wisdom that have been really insightful for me and have helped me to learn along the way. And I hope that they help you as well.
So thank you again. Appreciate all the hearts. Appreciate all the positive feedback. Um, love all you guys. I hope you have a wonderful night. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.